spoiler. The answer is no. This week I'm back to covering the OpenAI 5. If you've been following this channel for a while, you know that I did a couple of earlier videos on their work around the start of my channel, and I'm coming back to it now because there's been some interesting new developments. For people who are newer to this channel, the OpenAI 5 is actually a machine learning project developed by OpenAI, a company based out of San Francisco that aims to develop open source and more publicly accessible artificial intelligence, as well as to make sure that artificial general intelligence has a positive impact on humanity. One of the areas that they do a lot of work in is reinforcement learning, which is a subset of machine learning. Now, reinforcement learning takes a different approach to learning than a lot of traditional machine learning methods. It focuses on a specific type of problem. And a great example of this is the game Pong. Traditional machine learning approaches would focus on paddle movements. So you have the ball coming towards you, your paddle is in a certain position. You may have some knowledge of what happened earlier in the game and you need to decide how you should move your paddle in order to maximize a winning shot in that moment. But it also might mean that your opponent is able to hit back with another winning shot and then you lose. In most cases, especially in professional ping pong, People don't usually play with that mentality. It's much more of a long game. You want to put together the types of moves that allow you to win. And that's what reinforcement learning tends to focus on. Instead of predicting what the next step is, we learn from whether or not we won or lost the game. In this scenario, you might not make that winning kill shot in your game of Pong, but you're a lot more likely to win the overall game by playing it a little bit smarter. OpenAI 5 applies this to the game Dota 2. In the game, you control one member of a team of five heroes, and your goal is to both defend your territory against the other team, but also destroy a large structure that the other team is protecting, which is called the Ancient. Typically, you play on teams of five, so there's five people controlling the five heroes, but OpenAI 5 actually is an AI algorithm that controls five AI bots with the goal of winning the game. And to be clear, it's not easy to win this game, and not just for AI. At any given time, there are tens or hundreds of potential moves that you could make. You cannot see the entire playing field, and you have to be able to react in real time to your opponent's actions, which may not be obvious. This is a challenge that might not be suitable for non-reinforcement learning approaches, because in a given moment, there isn't necessarily one decisive way to win a game. OpenAI 5 has risen from beating professional players in one-on-one -on -one competitions in 2017 to competing against nationally ranked teams in 2018. And last weekend, they went up against the best international teams in the world, and they won. Along the way, there was an interesting development. See, OpenAI 5 had been designed to control all five AI bots, but somewhere along the way, it learned how to work with humans. Instead of controlling all five bots, maybe controlling four or three of them with one or two human teammates. And to be clear, it was never trained to do this. Because of this, OpenAI has decided to let the OpenAI 5 play against the public. And of course, I had to jump in on that. Now, I've never played Dota 2, so going back to the video title, the answer is a solid no. There's no way that I would beat these AI bots. Like I said, this game is challenging for people who have spent like actual time learning how to play it. And uh, today's Wednesday, and the competition opens tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern. However, OpenAI did offer a cooperative mode where you could join a team of AI bots and play against another team. So I decided to take that option. So now we're in the game and uh, quick apology for the not so great audio quality. Um, there's been construction next to my apartment for months and it's very hard to get out of the audio. But essentially what you can do is sign up for a game, sign up for a cooperative game, and they'll give you um, a code to paste into the console of the actual game itself, which I'm doing right now, and it will load the game for you so you don't have to worry about like figuring out how to connect or anything. I chose a pretty random character um, because I don't play this game, so I have no idea what I'm doing. And then the game starts. And so as you can see, the bots are actually fairly self-sufficient. Um, I think one of the interesting things, I guess, about being on a team of AI bots is that normally when you play this game you're playing with other people and so when you 
go and try to, you know, here defeat your your enemies. Normally you're like talking to people and like coordinating and you really can't do that with the bots because they don't talk. Um, they don't communicate and they don't really respond to your actions. You just kind of hope that like they will follow what you're doing. Um, having said that, so I died I think twice in this game. Um, and as you can see, they're still holding their own very well. Um, so in most cases, they still manage to play the game themselves very well, which is just a testament to um, why they beat the international teams. What's next for the OpenAI 5? Well, OpenAI actually retired it as a competitor almost immediately after winning the international competition, so we're not going to see them on the battlegrounds with any other international competitors. However, they still plan on developing this model using Dota 2 as a framework. This also isn't the only area that they work on when it comes to reinforcement learning, so I'm looking forward to seeing what they have in store for us. I'm particularly interested in continued development of human AI collaboration, as that seems like it's a challenge that's going to continue to impact us for the years to come. What do you want to see them use it for? Let me know in the comments. If you like this video, you can let me know by smashing that like button and subscribing to my channel. You can also support me on Patreon. Thank you again to all my wonderful patrons. And if you support me on Patreon, you can find out that this video was not part of the original April schedule and the April schedule has not been updated. You can find out more about OpenAI and the OpenAI 5 in the links below. This is probably not going to be the last time that you see them on this channel. And otherwise, you can follow me on the Twitter and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.